I'm going to show you how to cut plywood. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alan. Today we want to spend some time talking about cutting plywood. People think that cutting plywood is difficult. It's not difficult, it's actually quite simple. But there are so many different ways to do it. So I'm gonna take you through some of the ways to do it. And I'll also show you a couple of little inside tricks in terms of how to do it better, how to do it faster, how to get a neater, cleaner cut, and how to get the best bang for your buck in terms of how to cut plywood. You know, you don't need to spend a lot of money to, to cut plywood. So we're gonna take you through all the different ways now. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go through, let's start with the most basic way people can cut plywood and that is to use a circular saw. Now, you can get any kind of circular saw on the market. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have a decent blade in the circular saw, that's more important than the circular saw itself. It's easy to rush out and buy an expensive tool. You don't need to necessarily do that. This is a fairly good one, but it doesn't matter what saw you use. As long as the blade you're using is a good, sharp, clean, good blade, you're okay. You can get all kinds of setups for cutting. Here's the most simple one. Um, it's a basic circular saw. It has a base and it's got a, a fence guide over here. And this guy over here will just butt up against the edge of our board and we'll do a cut going down the side of the board like that to show you how it works. Okay, so obviously when you're cutting, one of the things you've got to be aware of is you've got to be careful of your safety. So I always wear my safety glasses and hearing protection. This stuff gets loud. so hearing protection is critical. The first thing we're gonna do is line up our saw with the edge and we're going to align our edge guide with the edge of the wood. We set our blade so that the blade goes just beneath the surface of the wood. You can make it go deeper if you like, but it's kind of, you get a much better cut if you just go slightly beneath the surface of the wood. One of the things to think about is the direction in which the blade is actually spinning. So in this case, the blade is going to be spinning like this. And what it's going to do, it's going to go in here and out at the bottom, which means if there's any chance of tear out, it's going to be at the bottom, which means that this is the show face. If you're going to use this side that people see the side, then this is the side that you want to, to face up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do one cut so you guys get a sense of what this is all about. So here we can see we've got a very good cut on this edge, um, a nice neat cut. On this edge, there was a tiny bit of tear out, but nothing to to be concerned about. So that was fairly simple. That's one way to, to cut plywood. Now, what happens if you want to be more accurate and you need a different kind of a fence guide or some sort of guide system? Well, luckily, it's a very simple solution. Okay, so we're back and we've changed saws. This is a battery operated saw. It's a pretty good one. You don't necessarily have to spend money on a battery operated saw, but it does make life a little bit more simple. So if you don't have power or you just couldn't be bothered with dealing with power cords and cables and the rest of it, then something like this could actually be quite a good solution. So this is a very simple edge guide. It's just made out of plywood and we're gonna show you how to use this edge guide and this saw to get a decent cut on plywood. Okay, let's go. Okay, there it is. I mean, what could be more simple? What you've got is a nice clean edge and a nice straight edge because you've actually created your straight edge by using your guide that you made. And you have quite a good result because the tear out is almost non-existent on this piece. It's actually very nicely cut. You've got a good result, despite the fact that we're going across the grain because the grain's actually going in this direction. So you've got some really good quality cuts out of this very simple setup. So one of the things that we have to think about when you're cutting plywood is the direction of the grain on the two outer surfaces. So your show face and your back face, these are the faces I'm referring to, have got grain. So in this instance, you can see the grain is running in that direction, which means that when I'm cutting across here, I'm actually cutting kind of across the grain, which most grains don't like. Um, so the idea is that you want to try and find ways when you're cutting across the grain to minimize tear out. And there are a couple of tricks I'll share with you guys in a minute. But just so that you understand what I'm talking about, plywood is made up of several layers or what they call veneers. So each layer alternates direction. So you've got one layer going this way, one layer going that way, one layer going this way, and so forth until you've got your finished product. Now, when I'm cutting across here like that, my top and bottom grains directions are going in this direction. So I'm actually cutting across the grain as opposed to if I was cutting along the width or along the length of the board, I'd be cutting with the grain, which means 
I have very little chance of tear out. Here, tear out becomes an issue because I'm going across the grain. Okay, so how do we minimize tear out? One of the cool things you can do is you can think about the blade you're using. Um, you can use a blade with more teeth, which is called a crosscut blade. Now, most blades have about 24, between 24 and 40 teeth. That's kind of an average sort of circular saw blade. The more teeth you have, the better your cut's going to be. That's kind of a very basic rule of thumb. If you're going with the grain, it doesn't matter how many teeth you have, but if you're going across the grain, the more teeth, the better. So simple rule of thumb. Okay, so what we have here is a saw blade that has lots and lots and lots of little teeth, and we'll show you that closer in a second, but lots of little teeth, which means that we've got a much better chance of getting a cut without tear out. If for whatever reason you still get tear out, then there's a trick. So you can take tape, masking tape, and tape up this line over here, and then cut through the tape, and you find that your, your cut is way, way better. So just a little cheat, and um, that's one worth knowing. Okay, so what happens if you don't have a straight edge? Well, luckily for you, if you've already got plywood, and you should have because that's what you're cutting, um, the idea here is that you can actually use a piece of that plywood to make your own fence. So all you need to do is use another piece of plywood or the original piece of plywood that you just cut a rough cut off. In other words, just take a slice of it because guess what? On the one side of your plywood, on your short side, you've got what they call a factory edge. And that factory edge should be pretty straight. It might not be 100% perfect, but it'll be straight enough for you to use as a guide. So what you can do is take your factory edge, fold it over, put it on your cut line, line up your cut, use some clamps just to hold things in place, Simple as that. And then any sort of saw will do. Now this is another little saw, not a big saw, it's a battery operated saw. And these sorts of things don't cost huge amounts of money, but it makes cutting a whole lot easier. So I'll show you how this one works. Again, this isn't an expensive operation. I mean, you don't need to have lots of money to cut plywood. You've got two clamps and a piece of plywood. Okay, so not the world's strongest machine, but we did manage to make the cut. Again, it's all just about working in within your budget. So um, there shouldn't really be an excuse for not being able to cut plywood yourself. Okay, right, now let's move on to people who are gonna do this more regularly. People who maybe are hobbyists, more serious woodworkers, and people who maybe want to do lots of cutting. So. Let's step up our game and show you some of the tools that are available and ways to cut plywood that are more efficient. Um, you get a better cut, a little bit neater, and yes, they do cost a bit more, but if this is what you're doing more often, maybe it's worth investing. So I'll jump out of here, we'll get some more kits and I'll show you guys some more toys. Okay, so now that you've um, been well established within your family as the woodworker and everybody's asking you to make stuff and uh, you're spending most of your Saturdays in the garage, cutting up plywood to make toy boxes and gifts and, and, and. Well, maybe now it's time for you to invest in a slightly better cutting system. So here's one that is, in my view, probably the most affordable, accurate cutting system on the market at the moment. So it's by Craig and it's called the Craig AccuCut. Um, it also comes with a Craig Rip Cut fence attachment. Um, and these two things work together and I'll show you now how they work. Basically what it is, it's a system that attaches to your circular saw like so. Um, it takes about five minutes to set up, but once you've got it set up, you leave this on your saw and you use these two things to cut up plywood all day long. Um, again, not massively expensive, it's a small investment, but if you're the kind of person that is starting to do stuff regularly, then maybe the system is for you. I'll do a quick cross cut and I'll do a quick rip cut and show you guys how this works. Okay, so if you want to find out more about the AccuCut um, and the rip cut, there's a link in the description below. Check it out, we'll show you guys how to get hold of it.
Okay, so you saw that was pretty simple. A couple of cool things about the AccuCut. Number one is that you get almost no tear out because there is a splinter guard on this track. So if you have a look at the side of this track here, you'll notice there's a blue splinter guard and that prevents um, splintering, what have you. So it does save that hassle, number one. Um, the other cool thing is that you'll notice that I didn't actually clamp this down. That's because it's got a very sticky bottom. This over here sticks like crazy, so it doesn't wiggle around. You can place it where you want it, and just with the weight of the saw, it'll hold it in position. So you can do straight cuts, you can do skew cuts, you can go at angles, whatever you like. So it's a very simple, easy to use system. Okay, right, let's go now and attach the rip cut, and I'll show you guys how to go about cutting plywood in its length because this track, as you'll notice, is only long enough to go across the boards 1.2 meters or 1.4 meters. Um, the idea now is to, let's say you want to rip a whole sheet in half, and that's a key distinction. Um, cutting across the grain, it's called cross-cutting, and when you're cutting with the grain, it's called ripping. Okay, so if you're going to rip a piece of plywood down the middle of it, the, the way to deal with this is to use the rip cut. So I'll attach that to the saw, and I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, so nothing could be more simple. All I'm going to do is slide this onto my rail. There's an indicator over there, and if I want to cut, let's say we're going to cut 150 mils, 15 centimeters, off this piece of wood, I'll simply set this to 15 mils, put my lock on. So now we're ready to do our rip cut. Um, you'll notice that what I've done here is I've clamped the sheet into position just to hold it. It's always a good idea to hold your work in place. It just makes it easier to uh, get accurate cuts and things don't move around quite so much. Right, so I've put my saw guide onto my saw. I've orientated my wood, or my plywood, in the direction that I want to cut. And now it's just a case of guiding it down the side of the piece of wood as a rip cut all along the leg. So this is how easy it is. Okay, so you can see that was pretty straightforward. All right, so again, you'll notice that that wasn't super hard. That was actually pretty straightforward stuff. Um, we're going to step up our game just once more and I'll show you guys probably the most industrial or best cutting system on the market. Um, and this is for the much more serious woodworker. But fear not, remember that you don't need this stuff. It's just for those people who want to do lots and lots of repetitive cuts so we're going to step it up we're going to change tools one last time i'm going to bring in the first tool to the you guys have that power. okay finally the best of the best the rolls royce in my view possibly the best uh, system for cutting sheet goods uh, by hand if you don't have a panel saw this is the next best thing so this is called a fest tool track saw um, all track saws are very, very good. They come in different brands. Uh, the one I have is Festool. You get Makita, you get all kinds of other brands. Um, the idea being though that you have a track upon which your saw runs. So it's very, very accurate. It doesn't slip around. It has a square guide. It has a dust extraction system. Uh, all those other nice things. So this is for the much more serious cabinet maker. The guys that are spending lots of their time cutting up sheet goods and plywood and what have you. Because it's accurate, it makes life easy. Um, and when you're making kitchen cabinets and those sorts of things, accuracy is paramount. So I'll show you guys just quickly how this one works. Remember always your safety gear. And we just paste the track saw on the track and set our depth and just go straight through. And you'll see that what we have is an absolutely perfect edge. So it's a crisp, perfect, 100% square edge. If I took my square to check that this was perfect and square, I'll check to see that it is. And it's 100% perfect in both directions, square and straight. These are some of the ways that you can use to cut plywood. Don't be intimidated by it. It's not, it's not rocket science, it's not difficult. In fact, it's as complicated as you decide to make it. A Couple of quick things. Don't go and spend a whole lot of money on stuff you don't need. If you just need to cut plywood, Get a basic system, get a saw guide, use a, a circular saw, borrow a friend's circular saw, don't go and buy one, just borrow one. Don't let that stop you from making your project. It's important that you don't get hassled 
by thinking, oh my goodness, I'm never going to be able to make this because I don't have all this equipment and what have you. You can rent a circular saw. You can go to a place and rent one. You can borrow one. There's lots of different ways to get to cutting. And then of course, making some sort of a guide system is as simple as I've shown you. It could just be another piece of plywood. It could just be another fence. You don't have to buy expensive equipment. Whatever you decide to do, just remember that there's no reason for you not to be able to use plywood as a product because you think it's a big, intimidating, difficult thing to cut. It's not. It's simple. It's good quality stuff. You can use it for just about anything and cutting it is not as intimidating as you think. If you have any questions about how to cut plywood, um, just drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, then like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, remember to ring the bell so you can see each time we post a new video. We're going to be doing a few of these, so look out for some cool content. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun on this channel, I can tell you. We're going to make all kinds of cool things out of plywood. You might change your mind about plywood a little bit. You might even realize that actually this is a material that you've been ignoring because you've been thinking it's too hard to work with. When in fact, it's possibly the simplest material to work with. So stick around, check out the channel as we grow and grow and grow. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Oh. Hmm. Uh-oh.